be on our, our last uh, hunting day today, I think. Uh, we're heading back tomorrow, 7 p.m. in the evening. The flight is going out. So I think today, basically last day. The only one left is the warthog. And uh, you guys can see that, that water, hole, uh, water hole behind me. Uh, the blind is up there. Uh, so this looks pretty, pretty promising. And um, this is a cool spot. Uh, that's a big, well, it goes all the way around, I guess. You can see it goes all the way back here. So I think that fills up um, in rainy season. That's probably, this is probably a fantastic spot. Right now they just have um, a water well running uh, over there's that pipe. That's what keeps that water level uh, at, this, at this low point, I guess. But yeah, this, this should be enough for animals to come in. The plan for the day right now is just sit in that blind and see if we can get um, get a warthog. Apparently baboons are coming in here too. Uh, that's that's pretty crazy. Uh, uh, kind of interested to see them. I, I've never seen a baboon in my life, except for one really, really scary movie uh, when I was a kid. I can remember there was a movie about baboons and them uh, not being friendly and killing people. So hopefully it doesn't happen here. I don't think it will. But yeah, that, that would be a cool spot today. So camera lady, uh, Lauren. Left us here now in the... They're parking the truck by the house. Oh. A big blue truck probably wouldn't help with the animals. It's green, isn't it? Whatever. Right. Cool. See you guys in a bit. Miss? I think so. I mean, I saw the... I saw the bullet in the, the dirt. Well, now, it, now it, you know, I can't blame you anymore, at least. Yeah, you can't blame me. I mean, let's go down there and see if we can... Uh... It's black. Huh? Yeah. See if it's black.
old blood, not new blood. That tree is dangerous. I felt like I felt like I saw that bullet hit the ground. We sat in this blind for basically the whole day. Uh, we had warthogs show up, but uh, mostly young ones with the mama. Then we had some baboons come in on the side of the of that uh, flat area. I could hear them call and stuff, which was pretty cool, but they never came close enough and uh, holy crap are those baboons large like they were sitting and they were seemed like that tall from the ground so huge animals then we had all kinds of impalas we had one <laughs> we had one large male warthog come in and I mean this whole day has been great I mean it has been a good day and many uh, Stories have been told and shared in the blind between Lauren behind the camera, PH Yaku and myself. Then we have this one large warthog come in and uh, you know we sat there the whole day and at some point I just see Yaku walk out of this blind and uh, like where is he going? He's, he might scare some stuff away. I'm like, and I'm like, ah, oh, we sat here the whole day, what are the chances something's gonna come in right now? So he walks down to where the water pump pumps this water and I see him wash his hands. All of a sudden look to the left and this large warthog male walks in like holy what are the, the odds? So I'm like trying to call uh, Yaku back up. And as I'm doing that I think the warthog looked at us, potentially also at Yaku and then I'm trying to call him with like making all kinds of noises and snapping my fingers. Um, and then the warthog takes off. There's one minute where this water comes in, Yaku walks out and uh, washes his hands. That was a pretty good story. Uh, I'll be laughing about this probably the rest of my life. I think so, so will be Yaku. And then uh, the other time we saw a big male, or at least a male warthog, was uh, when we were in the truck and Lauren bumped into the camera, made a noise, and then these warthogs take off. So at this point, uh, both folks with me scared away some uh, warthogs and then here. Uh, you're getting close to the end of the day and we had a bigger group of warthogs come in with a bigger female. We can't shoot females in this property. All of a sudden there's a, a male, two males coming in from the side. And I take a shot and uh, I think I just missed that shot. So now each one of us messed up at least one male, male warthog and I might be literally walking away from here South Africa and uh, have not shot a warthog. So uh, it's all good though. I'm, I'm actually not really worried about it. I mean we had we had a fantastic time and we shot fantastic trophies, something I could never imagine. So if I walk away without a warthog, I'm fine. But I might be coming back for it someday and uh, I'll get me a big male warthog. In the meantime, Sully, uh, Sully is pulling up in the back of the truck. He's been, <laughs> I think, hanging out in the truck in the back of the property and hopefully got a good snooze out of it or something. But uh, I felt bad for him too because we left him back there for so long. So. Let's tell him that I probably pulled the shot and missed it, and I think uh, Yaku, the PH, is still looking for uh, any drop of blood or something, but I'm, at this point I think it was a pretty clean miss, and uh, there will be no water today, so let's figure this out. That was last ditch effort at the warthog. We sat for another hour after I missed that shot at the water hole, but nothing came in. We watched some sables and Gemsbok and uh, Impala, but I think that wraps up the South Africa hunting experience so far. Tomorrow is the last day, invoice day, wrapping things up, packing, checking in, 
saying goodbye to new friends I think we made here. So uh, that's it. Last pick was kind of like back there behind the tree. Um, I don't know how Sully saw that. I mean, this guy has, uh, I think, a seven sense or something for uh, either spotting or tracking animals. It's been freaking phenomenal. But uh, we saw it run away in the grass. Um, there was no opportunity for me to take a shot. So I think we're actually having zebra steak for dinner. And the funny thing is we asked them, the folks here basically, what's the best meat you guys can eat? And without even thinking and almost like almost immediately they all said zebra. So there's zebra steak tonight. I'm extremely excited and uh, I'm also hungry. So it doesn't probably take much for me right now. See you guys. I think that's it. <laughs>